Hello everyone. Welcome to Crafting on a Budget. It's May here and look what I have. I've taken everything out but this is my Paper Pumpkin Stampin' Up! kit. It came in with my initial kit as I showed you guys in my previous video and here's all the good stuff that comes in it. I'm so excited. This is the July 2019 kit. So let's see what comes in it. As you guys saw, it has the On My Mind stamp set and you can use this over and over and it's pretty nice. What I love about their acrylic stamps is that it is so, it's such a great quality and you can't get this anywhere else. It's an amazing quality. They really put a lot of mind and a lot of thought into creating their products and they go with quality versus quantity. <clears throat> You'll also get the Pretty Peacock Classic Mini Ink Pad and it's a water base. You'll also get nine card bases. So there's various card bases here. I got a craft and I love this one. It's embossed with little dots. Isn't that pretty? We get three of those, three of these, and three of these. This is really nice and Christmassy. I like that. Then you get nine envelopes right here. You get three laser cut sheets. laser cut sheets. So I'm assuming it's probably these three. The ship steering wheel and you'll get one foil die cut label. And this one's already foiled. It's a lot for $21 guys nine die cut accent sheets and so you have these three one two three and you get these there's three here and then you get three of these and I love the ship that is so adorable and then these three over here you get five yards of thread, three paper clips, 30 adhesive backup sequins, which are these 30. Look at that, and it has an adhesive on it. 100, fin 100 mini dimensionals, so the, these here, 100. 150 adhesive dots, and you get three-dimensional rings and I'm sure this is pro probably for the the shipping wheel thingy I don't know what it's called and this is something that you guys can go in and sign up on my website I will put the link below but you can create some beautiful cards and you can go on the website and see all kinds of neat little things that you can create with this so I am going to make I love the one with the sailing ship and I love this one here. It could be Christmassy, it could be anything. So I'm going to create something with that. You can put add little things that you might have in your collection, but I'm sorry, for $21, this is an amazing steal and it gives you something to do every day. So for the for 9 days, you can create cards. You can create one a day. You can you know, hand these cards out to your coworkers, uh, your church, your um, anyone in a hospital, school, anywhere you go, you can hand these cards out to people for twenty-one dollars. You can't beat that. And then you have added extras, you know, that you can just keep on making. So this is an awesome deal. Again, sign up before the 10th of the month so that you don't miss out on the November kit because that's going to be an awesome kit. I'm sorry, but it is. So let's get started. I do need, I do know that I need a stamping block. So let me see where my stamping block um, Let's see. I have a fine tip glue from Stampin' Up, and you can get that at Stampin' Up. 
But I do know I need my block. And I have ones that Young Sue had gifted me. So we're going to use those that Young Sue gifted me. But there's nice little stamp blocks um, on my website. Check those out, guys. Okay. All right. I have my Stampin' Up scissors that I've had for like, I don't know, 29 million years. And my little picker. And it's so funny because I have not done a card like this in such a long, long time. I'm going to use this as a little, um, you know, inspirational piece. I love, and you guys know, I love live craft card. Get your little phone folder. And I like the sailing ship. I'm a little bit different. You can follow that. Actually, let's do that. Let's follow that so that you guys can see how easy it is to assemble these. So the little ship one has that. See how thick that is? That's such a great quality. And it's already scored for you. You don't even have to do that. I mean, how neat is that? They take all that. Um, we can do it this way. We can do it sideways. They did it sideways. So we're going to go sideways. We're going to do what they... You know, we're going to do what they did. So they have this little pop out circle, the sailing boat. They have these little clouds all in one little piece. See that? You can make three of these same cards all in one sitting. Hand it out to a co worker, hand it out to your pastor. You know, hand it out to somebody. And you can use these as little stencils if you want. Okay, so we have some twine that they've used. And they use happy birthday. Who do I know is having a birthday coming up? Well, my mom's birthday is today. She won't be needing a card. But who do I know? Who do I know? Hmm. <laughs> Guys. I don't know who's coming up with a, a little birthday, but we'll do happy birthday because, you know, they did one. We'll use a steering ship. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. And let's see. my stamp acrylic block let's put that there and you know they do have a um, is that the birthday one I can't read yeah that's it they do have a stamp platform yep, there we go. and so you guys can head on over there. I'm going to use one of these because they did. And we're going to go with this here. You guys check that out, guys. They have so many neat things. I'm so out of tune with paper crafting, but I've been watching Amanda Charlesworth. If you guys are in the UK, guys, check her out. Um, she's got awesome ideas on her site. You guys need to check her out. So where is my stamp? Okay, see, that's like really strong acrylic polymer. Okay, close it back up. We'll line that in. And I'm going to stand up because I am really not the most perfect person when it comes to this.
Happy birthday. Okay. And then we're going to, it looks like it has like little, let's see, I want to do this on the side here because I don't know if I maybe should have not rocked it. I was told to always rock. Yeah, let's not rock this. So we're going to flip it. This way, it doesn't matter. Flip it. Flipping it's okay. So don't rock. I rocked it because this is a rocking. Does have like a little you can use either one a little crooked on this one there and I kind of like this side here and I can make that a little bit smaller but I don't want it that big so getting back to paper crafting I know I know I knew and you can take your little ink and go around the clouds to make it even more um, you know realistic and you can do that I'm gonna do that because I'm just me I'm just me and I don't know let's see let me get Make it more like it's really cloudy out there, you know? You guys are probably sitting there laughing at me. She's like, oh my gosh, she's such a horrible, horrible card maker. Don't have to really think a whole lot with these kits. And that's the good thing. You don't have to give it a whole lot of thinking. Okay. All right. So I'm going to wipe this up just a bit because I don't want that to get all over my cards. Put that on the side there. bring my card back and again you can do some um, distressing so basically they have this little circle down and I'm just looking at what I'm seeing here on they have the boat down and then they have the little clouds I wonder if I did that. Hold on a second. Instead of just distressing, let's try to color that cloud in a little. Bring some of that in. Ooh. Like that, Brianna? Your mom, your mommy hasn't been making cards in such a long time. She used like a light gray on it. Too. A gray? Well, I'm using what came in this little kit. Oh. It's been a long time for me. You can color that in and make it really cloudy. Let's wipe that up. Okay. Is that a boat? 
It's a boat. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. It's really pretty. I think I had a couple years. Like, when you were little. You probably won't remember. Um, I had a stamp set that had a little boat like that. I haven't seen a card in a long time. I know. I haven't made a little card in a very long time. In ages, probably. <laughs> well, I've made, I take it back, I've made some like mixed media type cards, but not, not this kind of cards. Just in time for the holidays. Yeah. So I'm just trying to mimic what they're having and this is how neat these things are is that you can you can create it however you want um, cute message and you can use all the other little elements like I, I like giving other elements there I like that. And then they use this. So, and they use one of these boat thingies. Okay, so that's pretty much how that card goes. So let's get to gluing down, right? So I'm probably going to glue the clouds down. Let's see what I have it open. Looks like I can't get it out. All right, we're just going to move on over here because I don't want to sit there and wait. I'm not surprised why it's not wanting to come out. Let's see if maybe I've done something. I don't know. Yeah, I did something wrong in there. I didn't seal it right, that's why. So we'll get that unclogged because I didn't seal it right. I didn't put the little stopper in right. Okay. So I'll put fabric tack. No big deal. And you can make the clouds probably 3D. But I want to make other things 3D. this one and we're going to put some and they have glue dots I could have probably used the glue dots instead of um, of my glue I'm going to make pretty much a good majority of this dimensional, so that's why you see me putting a lot of dimensional on here. One thing I did learn when I was doing cards is if you put your nails in the center of the dimensional, it'll pop up that little covering. Amateur card maker here. Okay, let's get the sailboat.
And I used a little glue dot adhesives. And I'm sure there's a little trick to picking these up, and I'm going to learn that. I am. Um, I will learn it, guys. You all know me. I'll figure it out. I'm sure there's a way of picking these out. I was never a fan of the snail adhesives, but when you're doing cards, you really don't want a whole lot of glue. So I strongly suggest snail adhesive for cards just because you don't want a lot of glue mess peering out of your glues. All right. A little bit of the sunset there. And then we're going to put a little boat thingy here. We can use the ring for that. Again, I'm sure there's a way to do a lot of this stuff. I'm just not, I have not been in the craft paper world stuff, especially not stamping up stuff in such a long time. So I'm sure there is an easier way of doing a lot of this stuff. And I just have to learn. I have to relearn a lot of stuff, guys. We learn a lot of stuff. Time I need all this stuff. Not so much. Not in a long time. I am going to put some dimensionals on that one. Some people I see them making these cards and they just pop them out so quick and easy. I'm like, wow, that was so amazing. Here I am struggling with one card, right? This the the original design doesn't have this, but I just thought that would be cute. You guys know I love thread. So yeah, we're gonna do thread for sure. And I just like kind of wrapping it around. In a wonky kind of way. And let's get some of the adhesive backing. Go ahead. Oh, happy birthday. I'm going to use dimension on that as well. Why not, right? It's someone's birthday. They deserve. No, no. Do we like the gold? Brianna, come here. You'll be my judge. Do you like it with the foil? Can you see my crookedness, or do you like it without the foil? With foil. With the foil? Okay. So it doesn't matter that mommy went crooked? Mm -hmm. Whose birthday's coming up that we can give this to? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's pink and spots birthday. And Ooh, October. Grandpa Larson's birthday's coming up. We can send it happy birthday. Is it September birthday? No, it's coming up in November. That's a long time. I know, but still we'll have it made. Just, have, just send it to pink and spot. Tink and Spot, you think they'll know how to read? Yeah, their birthday's coming up October. So look at how cute that is. And even down here, I can add a little cute sentiment if I wanted to. Aside from happy birthday, there's you're the best. Happy birthday, you're the best. I can put that inside or along there if I wanted to. Um, if I wanted, let's see, that'll, yeah, that'll fit right there. Um, 
or we can go in the inside. But look how cute that is. Simple cute card and you can put a little sentiment in the inside and it's pretty easy aside from the fact that you know I am an amateur card maker. Ooh, and they put sequin. Oh, they put a little sequin on there. Oh, I, we got to make it like it's there. Hello. I should make Brianna make one of these. I think next one card, Nani, you're going to come home from school tomorrow and you're going to make one of these. So just to show people how easy it is. Yeah, I want you to do one you're, for that challenge tomorrow. Okay. When you come home from school. Let's get Brianna to do a little video. Huh? I'm not the most creative person out there. Nor do I have the patience to sit down. She's got ADD. She's like her mama. She can't sit. I get distracted by every little thing. Yeah. So we can put little um, sequins here and there. I'm going to probably put another sequence because I have it and I can. Because she rolls like that. Because I roll like that. She do what she wants when she wants. Mm-hmm. And you hear it. Yeah. I think I need more putty. That's putty in there. You pick it up. Oh, I can't get it out. Oh. That's a weird thing. That was in the live back then. It was alive back then? Is that what you said? No, it wasn't alive back then, was it? What do you mean? The thing. This? The mm -hmm. tool? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm, this is new. All right, we're going to put one here in the middle of the anchor. The Not the anchor. What is this called, Nani, since you know a lot of stuff? What is that little boat steering thingy is? There's the a, wheel, I think. It's the wheel, but there's another name for it. I don't know. If you guys can tell me what name it is, I, I can't think off the top of my head. And I probably wouldn't even know anyway. Okay, isn't that pretty? Some sequins, and we can go on and on and on. But I think that is stinking cute. Very super easy, and I can make tons of these with the kit. And I want to see if Brianna make one. But I think that is adorable. Um, little, pretty easy to make. Oh, this penny was probably yelling. But that's super cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will probably make another one or two cards and I will show what I created at the end of this video. Till next time, bye bye guys. So I have finished my cards. I'm pretty excited how they turned out. You guys ready for this? All right, let's show you these cards. I'm stoked about them. So I had some things left over. I had some of the dimensionals and of course the little glue dots and a little bit of the twine left over. And of course you're going to always have your stamp set and your little mini inker. Okay, so here are my cards. and I put them in order so you guys can see by collection. So this is the first one I did following um, the example that is available with your kit. Pretty easy. All you had to do is pop out the little dies and glue. That's it. So easy. And I have a little card made that I can use for any occasion. So that was pretty simple. Then I decided, okay, let's change it up a little bit. I took some of the side pieces that were left from the die cuts and I cut a piece put it on the top and in your little stamp set was this little seashell I stamped it onto a cardstock fussy cut it and glued it down and I also put a little paper clip there and that's all I did there on this one again I grabbed some of the little scraps changed it just, just to change it up and instead of doing the foil front I put it in the back and I also stamped the little mandala that's in the stamp set and cut it in half, one on top, one on the side, and there was a card. So simple, so quick and easy. These I absolutely love. So this is, I did two that were from the inspirational package and this was available with your kit. Uh, if you looked in there, the little handout has this one in. So I love, love, love 
these. These are so stinking cute. I put some sequins here and there, wrapped my twine. I like to leave these little things hanging because I just think they're so cute. And so I just let that hang just like that and did the same thing with that one. Now this one, I grabbed the card from the sailboat, flipped it around. I said, you know what, I'm going to change this up a little bit. So again, I used a little mandala, cut it in half, attached one on top, one on the bottom, and on the little twig here, I added the sequins randomly throughout some of the thread, and that was my card. thought that came out really cute. Now these I love. These are so cute for a guy. Um, and so this one is the original that's in for the inspirational. What I did differently is I took my ink and I kind of distressed around the cloud. And I think that's about it because everything else was pretty much following what's in the kit. So put sequence here. Oh, and I put the sequence there, sequence there, sequence there. And I thought it came out really cute. I love, love, love how they turned out. Now this is another version of that one. And I used the little embossed craft card stock that was supposed to be from the other inspirational. And I added the clouds, a little sequence there, a little sequence there, and here's a seashell cut it out and attached it to that. This one I used it sideways this way and again I put little sequins down here, changed the phrase to hello friend and added a sequence there. That's all I did. So these are pretty quick and easy cards. I have nine cards that if I have any special occasion I can pull out my little set out and mail it out to someone and for $21 plus tax and shipping you can't beat this kit at all make sure you guys check it out subscribe before the 10th of each month it has to be for the 10th of each month so you can get the previous or the following month so if you do this before the 10th of October you will get the November kit just keep that in mind it's prepaid so you have to wait to get your kit in a month so cute kit very affordable makes great projects make sure you guys check it out subscribe to it and save tons of money guys till next time bye